There is growing awareness of the importance of representation, particularly when it comes to children's literature. The stories and images young readers see can have a profound impact on identity. Zeta Elliott is a Canadian author sharing her own experience with representation and how it led her to, as she describes, decolonize her imagination. And how, as an adult, she is now writing the book she wished that she could have been reading as a child, including her new one, A Place Inside of Me. Zeta Elliott is joining us this morning from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Good to speak with you. Good morning. Zeta, you were raised here in Canada. Talk to me about the types of books that you were reading as a child. Wow. Well, growing up in Canada, I didn't really have what we call mirror books. There's a scholar, Rudine Sims Bishop, who mentions that books can be a mirror, a window, or a sliding glass door. And when I read books as a child in Canada, I very rarely opened a book and saw kids inside who looked like me, who had a family like mine, who shared my reality. My mom was my kindergarten teacher, so I was really lucky that she was a fan of Ezra Jack Keats, uh, author and illustrator of The Snowy Day. So I had those books, uh, but very little else. You have spoken about internalizing what you were reading and how that led to what you described as erasing yourself from the story and eventually led to you having to decolonize your own imagination. What does that mean and what did that look like for you? Well, according to Redeem Sims Bishop, when you look through too many windows, when you're watching too many children who are different from you, having all the wonderful magical adventures, uh, you start to identify with those children and eventually you realize that they don't look like you. Uh, so when I started writing for kids, I was taking a creative writing class my senior year of high school. And if I wrote historical fiction, I definitely wrote about Black people because I had grown up in a family that told me all about our African-American heritage, how we moved from Philadelphia to Ontario in the 1830s. So I knew Black people existed in the past. What I didn't know was that everyone can have magical adventures. Magic can happen to anyone, anywhere. Uh, but all the books that I read, you know, mm. C.S. Lewis, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, E. Nesbitt, The Phoenix and the Carpet, it was always white children in England having magical adventures. Mm. So when I wrote my first fantasy story, I had a white family, even though clearly that didn't reflect my own family. Uh, Zeta, you have a new book of poetry. I can see it on the shelf behind you. It's called A Place Inside <laughs> of Me. Uh, we're going to talk about that uh, now because I'd love to know... Um, just before we do that, I'd love to know about your experience in Canadian publishing industry. What has it been like for you? Well, so it's really gratifying. Thank you very much for having me on the show. It's very gratifying to now have uh, visibility as a Black author in Canada. Uh, my first picture book, Bird, was published in 2008. So A Place Inside of Me is book number 39. <laughs> Uh, and it's wonderful to now have some visibility in Canada. And I'm glad that people find my dragon tales really compelling, um, but they don't seem to have equal interest in my other narratives. I have two books out right now that address police brutality, Say Her Name, which came out in January, and A Place Inside of Me, A Poem to Heal the Heart. Uh, and I am listed as a Canadian author because I'm Canadian. Whatever I do, wherever I go, I always make sure I tell people, kids especially, that I'm an immigrant but I have never been able to get a book published in Canada. Hmm. Up until, you know, even just a few months ago, I have a story that I wrote with my uncle my, on my father's side. We're Caribbean. So it's a story about him as a Caribbean child in the 1960s, learning how to play hockey. We've had so many incidents in the news uh, lately, but going back years of racism uh, within hockey. So it seems like a really timely narrative, and yet it's been rejected by a dozen Canadian editors. In the past week, I'd say, I've had three Black Canadian authors reach out to me wanting advice, and I love giving advice and mentoring young writers, but I can't tell them how to get published in Canada because I don't know. Wow. I was lucky that I had the option to come to the U.S., and it's not easy down here. It's still a struggle, but I wouldn't have close to 40 books if I had stayed in Canada. Uh, Zeddy, we have run out of time. I'm so sorry, but I do want to give everybody a plug for your new book. It's called A Place Inside of Me. Um, and as you mentioned, more than 30 plus books uh, written under your name. And we will definitely remind our viewers to check them out uh, as they're looking for their summer reading this year. Thanks so much, Zeta. Take care. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.